How are we doing then, lads? Where the piss and hell have you been? We told you to be here for nine, it's now nearly eleven. Oh, I thought we were meeting at ten. That still makes you an hour late, Thomas. Yeah, I got halfway there and I remembered I promised to bring grub for the trip, so I had to head back and get some. So where's the food then? Well, the cupboards are a bit bare, because Mum does the weekly shop on Wednesdays. I managed to snaffle this though. One tin of beans, Jesus Christ. Don't need this. Ryan, you dickhead! What'd you do that for? Don't worry, fellas. I've ensured there's enough wildlife and vegetation on this walk. We won't go hungry. Okay, Bear Grylls. Let's get moving then, shall we? Something wrong, Thomas? This always happens. Whenever I'm around nature, I suddenly have to take a shit. Let's find a tree. Nearest toilet's a miles away. I haven't got any toilet paper. Here's what you do. Get a big leaf, stick your finger through the centre of it, wipe your hole with the finger, and then wipe the excess with the leaf. I, I think I can hold it. I swear I've taken a picture of this same bridge before. Are we going round in circles? Are you questioning my navigation and orientation skills, Nate? Yes, let me see the map. Don't need a map, it's all up here. I know this environment like the back of my hand. Then how come I took a picture of this same bridge 30 minutes ago? Huh. So we are lost. You massive idiot. All right, Picasso, you're the one that wanted to come on this walk. Oh, let's take some photos of trees! Picasso was a painter, not a photographer. Alright, this is not a problem. It's easy to sink into a feeling of despair when you realise you're lost. Let's all take long, deep breaths. I'm checking Google Maps. We need to make shelter. No signal! We can fashion a makeshift teepee out of fallen tree branches. Why don't we just get moving before he makes us drink our own piss? I'm starving. I really need to take a dump. Just go and take it behind a tree. What if there's a bear? I'm pretty sure we don't get bears in this country. Well, you're wrong there, Nathan. I've yeah, seen no, one. No, no, no. Zoos don't count, Thomas. Now, go and take a shit. Heinz! Good to have you brought that camping stove, Ryan. Be prepared. Yeah, all the gear, no idea. Fuck off, Da Vinci. Again, not a photographer. Looks like it's nearly ready. <laughs> Did either of you two think to puncture a hole in the can before you put it on the stove? I, I can't deal with this. <laughs> what did I do in a previous life to deserve you two? You know who I blame? My dad. My stupid fucking dad. You know why? Because if he didn't have an affair... If he didn't have an affair, my mum wouldn't have left him. And if my mum wouldn't have left him, she wouldn't have taken back a maiden name. And wouldn't have made me take it back too. So when, in Year 7, Mr Jenkins made us all sit in alphabetical order based on our surnames, I would have been made to sit at the back, not at the front, with you two numbskulls. I should have been sat on the back row with Jennifer Spark. I could have spent five years watching those beautiful, luscious breasts mature. But no. No, I got left behind to babysit you two Fuckers! Right. I think I'm going home now. You don't even know where home is. Well, if we follow the stream up, it should take us to where Ryan threw the cannon. 
Hey guys, I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I'm an asshole. Could we, um, could we please take a photograph? <laughs>